Hi guys and welcome back. In this video I'll show you how to install audio bookshelf on your Synology NAS, using the docker run command. This should be a very quick install. Audio bookshelf is an open source, self-hosted application designed for managing and streaming audiobooks and podcasts. It allows you to create your own personal library where you can store, organize, and listen to audiobooks and podcasts directly from a web browser or mobile app. Let's crack on and get this installed. So here I am, inside my Synology NAS dashboard. Click your menu button to the top left, and click into file station. From the menu on the left, we're going to select our Docker folder. I already have audio bookshelf installed so I'll go ahead and create a new one. From the menu, select create. Now create folder. I'll name this audio bookshelf YouTube. You should just call this audio bookshelf. Press OK. We're now going to access this folder and create two new folders, one named config and the other one named metadata. We're finished with this window, so we can go ahead and close it. Now back into our menu button and select control panel. Select Task Scheduler to open it. From the top menu, press Create, then Triggered Task, followed by User Defined Script. Untick the Enable box. Enter a task name, this can be anything. I'll keep it simple with Audio Bookshelf. For the user, we must select Root from the drop down box. Now click into Task Settings. From here, you need to paste our Docker Run code. You can find a link to this code in the description below. Make sure you change the paths to match your own setup. Once you've checked the code and you are happy to proceed, simply go ahead and press the OK button. You will have a warning prompt displayed, press OK to accept this. At this point, you will now need to re-enter your Synology password as we are using root access to run this task. You should now land on this screen with a list of tasks. Select the task that you just created and press run. Press OK on the prompt. You can now close this window as we're finished here. Head back into your menu button, scroll down and select Container Manager. Click into Container from the left and you should now see your audio bookshelf container. We can now go ahead and try logging into our container. Open a new tab and enter your Synology IP address, followed by the default port number 13378. The container will take a few minutes to boot up, so when you land on this screen, every few moments try pressing reload. Here we go, success! Go ahead and choose a username and password. If you are going to expose your container to the internet, I'd recommend that you choose a secure password. You will notice the directory paths, we are going to ignore these and press submit. Log in with the username and password you just set. We now need to point audio bookshelf to our audio books path we set. From the panel to the left, click into libraries and click on add your first library. Now click into browse for folder. We will choose audio books. I will choose the folder I have set for adult related books. I will also change the metadata provider to Audible UK. You can leave as default if you wish. Oops, don't forget to give your library a name, like I did. Once done, you can go ahead now and press create. If you have audiobooks stored in your library, you can click on scan to start the process of loading these in. It may take a short while for all your audiobooks to load depending on how many you have. You can access your audiobook shelf instance on Android and iOS devices. Visit the official website for more information. I'll pop a link in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.